welcome to another episode of Garden of Glass. <laughs> I am Anthony Moore. I'm Stephen Bowles. <laughs> Look, man, it's our first time on camera, um, so we're a little giggly, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Because we're normally not on camera, so y'all don't really be saying what be going on. But trying out new setup and uh, leave it in the comments whether y'all enjoy it, y'all like the new setup something to change or anyway um how was your week man good man um nothing really happened you know nothing nothing dramatic happened now go on say wait, something y'all already well, 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 well i mean something dramatic did happen not really to you but in the world you know what i'm saying uh <laughs> chris rock <laughs> slap her around the world <laughs> chris rock got slapped you know what i'm saying uh somebody Went for his Willie style, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Somebody get jiggy with it. Shoot his ass in the jail, but hey, that's just me. Go right ahead. Um, <laughs> for me, though, uh, nothing. That's a really too interesting. Oh, I did pick up a new cigar. Um, Delicioso Exotic Tobacco. Mm-hmm. I haven't tried it before. Let me see if I can get it in camera. So I guess it's like smooth at the bottom but bold at the top. Um, so I'm gonna try it on camera. But uh, today we're having, of course, you know, the Sweet Jane and this is a uh, bourbon whiskey, I believe. Is it a bourbon? Mm-hmm. I think it is a bourbon whiskey. Okay. But it's pretty good. It's not the legacy that we normally drink, but it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. So, as always, got a multitude of topics. A multitude. Multitude. Multitude of topics. Uh, let's see. Two, four, six, eight. So, we got about 10 topics. Choose a number. Uh, give me four. Yeah, four. All right. All right, so we're trying out some new features too. So the videos and stuff is going to be thrown up on the screen and everything so y'all to see, for y'all to see. And uh, we'll get it figured out over time if it doesn't work like we want it to at the moment. But uh, yeah, we'll make it happen. And actually, like the first topic is, <laughs> is what we've been looking at. Okay. All right, so a man here to brandish a gun near Mike Tyson at an LA club. Calm down when Mike Tyson gave him a hug, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So we're going to play the video. Tyson was straight up gangster. I don't know if I would been give a guy a hug after he just pulled a gun out. Mm-hmm. I told you to go ahead and play with your phone. Come out here. I'm not saying what you get out of here, bro. Mike to a fight. But of course, 
he was just joking. So then when he tried to do that, security tried to get him out, and he didn't want to leave, and so he pulled a gun out. And Mike just sat there. He was kind of watching everything go down. And as we saw in the video, he was just like, hey, hey, hey. He was saying, come here. Mm -hmm. You know, because really, all you need is a hug, and all you need is some love right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, which is all he was trying to show in the first place. Right. Now, he was just kidding around. How right. I many other people you don't see kid rock? Come on, my guy, I got you. Yeah. Just kidding. Right. But you had a security guard that wanted to earn his check that night, I guess. Right. You know, because he knew that guy was kidding around. Putting hands on him there, everybody get their hands off when the gun came, though, right? Yeah. Or, or what, but, what, what, what appeared to be a gun. I never saw a gun. Well, I mean, they showed it in the video to where, like, the arrow pointed at the gun. Right, they saw the arrow. Yeah. But did they? Did you see a gun? I yeah, I, a gun. I mean, I saw the gun on the video, and especially like everybody's reaction, everybody's like, ducking and stuff, and like, you know. Oh, I saw that part too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you still didn't see the gun. I didn't see the gun. I told you to put your glasses on. <laughs> I don't know. That's, <laughs> but, that's but, why you see the gun. But that's, that's, that's one of the situations that you, you've seen it in the club time and time again. Security escalated that far more than what it ever should have been. I mean, everybody know that man wouldn't have been trying to fight Mike Tyson. You said, I'm joking. And, and so the man, hey man, I'm just joking. I'm yeah. joking around. But security wanted to show that he was security. That reminds me a lot of the police. Mm. You just want to show you got some authority here rather than just, hey man, all right, I know you were joking. But you look, don't 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 joke like that because we don't know if he's serious or not. Yeah. And that's the end of it. But no, he put that in the hand, he, that security put his hands on that man like three, four times. That's three, four times too many for me. Side note, man. This ain't good. This may be one of my favorites. What's it called? Uh delicioso. Um, Which is of course Spanish for delicious, but how do you know that? Because I you speak Spanish? A little bit. A little bit. You know for a fact, delicioso. I mean, you said it with such authority. Yeah. Yeah. Delicioso, which which means delicious and strange. It is, for real. For real. <laughs> okay, we'll take the word for it. Bueno. Bueno. It's bueno. Listen. It's good. Stop for you. It's good. It's good, bro. But no, it is it is really good though. Okay. Like I've I've never tried it before. I went to that uh, cigar shop off the bridge street just because I was out there. Yeah, right. I don't I don't normally go there because they kind of no shame to them, but they just kind of overpriced the mm -hmm. cigars just because they're on bridge street. Mm -hmm. But I like well I like this. But anyway, um, on to the next topic now. I'm going to shoot with this one because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to hear your perspective on it. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're a dog owner, you know. Yeah. And so what would you do if you saw your dog? Because it's a, it's a boy dog, right? Right. Or it's a girl. It's, it's, it's a boy dog. Okay. So if you saw your dog, your boy dog, humping another boy dog. You got to get up out of here. <laughs> so... Yeah, he's got to go. So you think so you think your dog is gay? Yeah. Yeah. Now don't confuse, let's say I had a gay hey. child. That's different. But no, a gay no. child? No, no. dog. No. No. But, no. No. but dogs is hump stuff. Dog dogs don't no. be I ain't never heard it of up. any incident involving a a, a dog humping another a male dog humping. Dogs gonna be thinking like Really? So, 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 so I'm assuming this is a story, right? Since you brought that up, or was that just a hypothetical? No, it's a, it's a, it's it's a story, story, right? It's a story. So I'm gonna assume since it's a story, it's an unusual occurrence. Because you like well, it's all unusual. dumb stuff, man. This, this happens all the time. Okay, but go ahead, tell me all the story. Right, all right. Alright, so Festo, that's a dog's name. Um, 
he was abandoned right. at the animal shelter, huh? No, Fisco, right? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Hang on. What? No, I said something. Never. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, what did you say? Nothing. I just said Fesco, Ryan with Cisco, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Life must uh, be life, life must be incomplete. Go ahead. So <laughs> So anyway, Fesco mm-hmm. was abandoned at the animal shelter. Owner thought he was gay. Uh huh. I guess he was humping another male dog and so they wanted to drop him off at the shelter because they claimed that they didn't want no gay dog. I mean Hey, I mean, so you think the dog is gay? I think I don't want the dog. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, I ain't got no problem with the moms. Well, after that, okay, you know, I, I, just, I get sick. And hey, you know what? Before you even brought that up, I said, I bet you. So after a that, a gay couple <laughs> adopted this dog. A gay couple. Yeah. Wind up adopting Fesco. Wait, no, I saw that gun. He's over the hump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <He's over> the- <laughs> I mean, look at Fesco, man. He's like, bro, I just, I'm just trying to live my life. Out. Yeah, Fesco, like, how, how, how did it come to this? I'm just trying to live my life. Out. You know, I'm just trying to live my life. Now I'm involved in a poly- <laughs> polyamorous relationship. What, 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 what is polyamorous? Huh? What is supposed to be? Uh, what are you supposed to call it? No, I don't know. I was asking. You. Multiple partners. Oh, okay. You know that? I don't be doing stuff. Well, I know. Yeah. But I mean. <laughs> Look, it, it's, it's so many words now for whatever. But I, Polly has been out I'm there. just, I'm just like, yeah. I, I don't, I don't. Oh, you're that. right, cause uh, it's 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 uh, all it's all type of stuff. Like, uh, uh, what's your love language and and and, and what you into? And, I, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, look, man, I, I'm who's the singer? That I'm just simple for, for this. Janelle, what's my Janelle? Janelle, my name. What did she say she was? Pansex, pansexual. Yeah, what is that? Hey, now, that's just a major word to me. I don't know. I mean, what she said is that because she doesn't love a gender or a person, she loves that. I don't know. Do you know what a pansexual is? I think they're gender fluid or something like Gender that. fluid. Yeah. Another made up word. Yeah. <laughs> she, used a, she used a made up word to describe A made up word. A made up word. A made up word. You know, made up word to define <laughs> another made up word. That's what I'm saying, man. Gender fluid. But then, but then you get on nuts about our slang. <laughs> you ain't lying. Because gender fluid means a whole different thing to me. I have no clue what any of this stuff is, man. Yeah, I, just, I, seen, I, don't, I, I don't, get what you're saying about okay, I'm just saying for a profile that says uh, pansexual or, or attracted to pans. You want to know like, what all that means? I don't know what that is. You want to know what all that means? What? You're just gay. You're just, you're just, you're just gay. You're just gay, man. <laughs> I have no idea what nothing you know? is. I was like, oh, okay. Whatever. You know, all that it, LMNOPQ community, you're just pretty gay. You're just gay. <laughs> all right, so before we get off this topic. I even saw the face mountain. <laughs> so look, before we get off this topic real quick. Let's go to Florida, of course. Florida House passes the Don't Say Gay Bill. Mm-hmm. Claims that saying gay mm-hmm. within the school system mm-hmm. um, is like harassment or it's a negative connotation to, mm-hmm. I guess, kids within that type of community. And mm-hmm. of course, it's offensive to the LGBTQ community. Mm-hmm. But just like we said earlier, you said we can't say gay, but the bill says don't say gay, but it got gay in it. That's the same thing. It's, don't call them niggas. Bill. A, ma- a made you up know, word for ain't you got, ain't, ain't you got the word that you ain't supposed to say right there in it? Right. <laughs> I can't say gay, but I got to say gay, gay to gay say the bill. You, know, you see how ignorant this is, man. <laughs> you, you see how ignorant government is, period. It's made up stuff, man. 
It is made up stuff. It ain't. It ain't even the government. It's the made up stuff. It's that. That's like um um what is it like uh actually like some like cheating on your spouse is illegal. You know, uh, it's illegal. You think you think people <laughs> you, you think people give a damn about that law? No, the same way they ain't gonna give a damn about this law. Just the same way they, well, you know, um, quote unquote, it's 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 racist to call people n words, right? Mm-hmm. You think racists give a damn about that? No, the same but, way ain't nobody gonna give a damn about this. What you gonna? Okay, if you if you say it in school, what happens? So, my issue ain't even with the bill. It's the fact that okay. You can pass this bill before you pass all of the stuff that you were put put into that position to pass. That's, that's exactly you know what happened right. for black people. Right. You know what happened to the George Foreman, not the George Foreman, the George uh, Floyd law. Yeah, I, I told you this. And the, and the Build Back Better law. I, 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 I keep telling you this. And, and I said this day, I know you heard it. Republicans, Democrat, uh, government, they just playing a big ass game of good cop bad cop. Yeah, that's all it is. You know, they gonna get up there and be everything, but what you ask for, right? You know, they 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 get on TV and, and and say all this good feel good stuff, but they ain't gonna never give you what you want. Yeah, what you really want. You know, that's true. I and agree. that's that's my whole thing. I'm like, well, people, oh, I'm a Democrat. I'm I'm a uh, a uh, Republican, use a fool. It's basically because if you believe any of them, they're gonna do anything. Right. You already set yourself up for failure. You you all uh, to get hurt. Yep. To get it's hurt. Point. Yeah. You know. I agree. You know. <laughs> That's why every year you have people almost fighting because oh my candidate is gonna win. Oh my candidate is gonna win. <laughs> I mean both of y'all sit your dumb ass down. Your candidate don't do the damn about neither one of them. All right. So the next topic that we got. Okay, so I know you light skin. You probably don't use that much lotion. I'm, 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 I'm taking it back. Why? Go but, ahead. but, but, what? What do you mean? Huh? What? What? On paper bag? Why? What is that? I wasn't born in the '30s, man. I don't, I don't know what that is, man. <laughs> like. What, what is, what is? I'm brown skin, man. I'm brown skin. And if you want to know what particular shade of brown it is, let, 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 if, let, if let, you want to know what particular let, shade let, of brown it is, let, let, let it's paper bag brown. They also got white paper bags too. Huh? Well, I ain't not one of them. I'm paper bag brown. I wouldn't be prepared myself for no paper bag, but I, I. So, what type of lotion do you use? Uh, cocoa butter. Well, what brand of lotion do you use? What brand of lotion? Yeah. I'll tell you that's true. When I, you know, when I go to the store, I don't, I don't, I don't see brands. I see prices. So whatever, 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 which one, whatever is the, is the cheapest. I have no loyalty when it comes to stuff like that. It's water. You didn't got. If 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 Coke. You got Queen If if, 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 if Coke happens to be less than Pepsi, I'm buying Coke. If Pepsi happens to be less than Coke, I'm buying Queen Helene. Helene. Huh? I said you didn't got Queen Helene. Queen who? Queen Helene, I think. That's what it's called. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lotion that 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 watered down cocoa butter lotion. Like I said, whichever one I might have. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I don't see brands. I see I see I see prices. But go ahead. It said the Jergens lotion. Have been recalled for possible bacterial infection. Mm-hmm. Why is that store? Huh? Why is that store? I don't know. Because I didn't want to see what type of lotion we use. I use. No, a vino. A vino. Yeah, a vino. On wheat percentage. And, and, and no other lotion than a vino. Yeah, and somebody came in there with jerky, too. No, actually, I only got a vino because um, I was at Costco and had it in like a bundle pack, so it was it was cheaper to buy it that way than 
like Okay, so you price the thing. Yeah. You, ain't, you ain't loyal to a Vino. I didn't say that I was. I just said I use. But you had a Vino. Well, what kind of loads you lose? I said, I, 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 but what, well, well, I use a vino, so that means I just said I use a vino. I just said that I was loyal to a vino. Oh, okay, all right. I thought you was like, okay, well, I only use a vino. No. Okay, but uh, a vino, Jergens, all, all them lotions come from the same place. So if Jergens yeah, has bacteria in it, yeah, every other one. I got back here. Okay. Okay. The German company just happened not to know how to cover it up better than others. And they got caught. They're a different company. Oh, speaking of getting caught. Have you been caught listening to R. Kelly lately? I don't listen to R. Kelly. I never stopped. I'll just say that. I can I can take out what that person did, did that right? versus their music. Yeah. Now, some songs I have listened to afterwards, and I'm like, oh, I can, I can, I can hear a piss and all of that song. <laughs> and I don't know if I can listen to it. Because, like, yeah. Ain't Ain't Number to Number by Aaliyah hits differently now. And I'm just like. It should have hit differently when you first heard it. But see, I didn't know. Just, what? I, mean, I wasn't born when you was born, man. So, it's like, me not understanding <laughs> what was going on. I didn't know you was pissing. On folks, when I was 11, <laughs> somebody I else got no business. Somebody else said 12 play hits different now. Because how do you know he wasn't talking about playing with 12 year olds?
That's what they would do. Oh. And listen, dog, uh, listen. Why is this news? Huh? Why is this news? It's just news, right? People need to be entertained. Okay, I get that, but the girl calls her dad, mm-hmm. who's doing time with R. Kelly. She said, hey, baby, I'm here with R. Kelly. But to me, it's like, it's like, how many times do you think that somebody has pulled him up and said, hey, man, think a lot of times. Think, think a lot of times. This is why, that's what I'm saying. Why is this new? By the way, if we all don't be honest, you sound like shit. You know, that wasn't, she was going crazy. I'm like, I thought I could build that out. I mean, I mean. It gets definitely when he ain't in the studio. Yeah, yeah, or, or, or not R. Kelly. I, I get that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, let's let's just be honest. With us, I'm like, look, that didn't sound good. I mean, it's not all right. Okay. It's not all right. Okay, well, hey, listen. It's not all right. You know, yeah. just shout out to Kale. You know. You know what I'm saying? The Pied Piper of R&B. And now the Pied Piper of Free. <laughs> it's not all right. <laughs> I guess. But I'm just saying, that yeah. I don't see why it's new. If, if somebody served in time with somebody famous, mm-hmm. you know, um, I'm pretty sure if you ever served time with Martha Stewart, hey, can you get her send me some cookies? I'm pretty sure all that goes on all the time. Don't wonder why we single out all Kelly. For that man and say, hey, you gonna send me my daughter, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh. And so I sing it. Now you want to talk about the transgender swimmer, right? I didn't want to talk about the transgender <laughs> swimmer. You want to talk about that transgender swimmer. You want to Just because you know what I'm going to say about it. <laughs> well, let's hear it. A transgender swimmer who won too much. Mm-hmm. Leah Thomas is not the first transgender swimmer in, in, in the NCAA, but her victories have put her in the center of debate by trans athletes. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about trans athletes? Uh, ladies, welcome to equality. <laughs> you 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 want everything to be equal? Here it is. Yeah. Here it is. You know, why do men get paid more? Why 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 can't women compete in football? Well, now you can. Here's a perfect example of what happens when equality or uh, 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 when keeping it real goes wrong. This is exactly what happened. You want an equality? You know, here it is. I hope he beats the hell out of him. Everybody jumps in the water. And see, like, they wind up signing a petition for him. To That's exactly right. And then when he started winning, or when she started winning, I don't know. Really and when he started winning, man, stop. But when, when, when he started winning, or she started winning, mm-hmm. or they started winning. Mm-hmm. Then that's what Whatever pronoun you want to use. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, here's my thing. And, 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 and people can disagree with me all they want. When you ask for something and get it, shouldn't you shut the hell up? So, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an argument of, you know, be careful what you ask for. It ain't an argument. When you got what you asked for, when you got what you asked for, it shouldn't be an argument no more. The argument was that you would not get what you asked for. Uh-huh. So when you got what you asked for, I'm going over. Here you go. So do you believe that there's a such thing as too much free? you damn right it's what such thing as too much free. Damn right it is. So have we have we gotten to that point? Who? Us who, as Who is we? America. Well, I'm saying us as America. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just saying No. Just, no. no. Certain, certain certain groups in this country have never not had too much freedom. Okay. You're saying as Explain. in, huh? Explain. Okay, so we all know white people in this country generally have had the freedom in this country to do just about anything they want. Okay. You know? I think that this debate of are we getting too much freedom comes up and everybody else thought exercising their freedoms too. See, it wasn't a problem until everybody else can 
act a bigger fool, act, act, act a bigger fool, yeah. and everybody else, uh, and, and uh, the one time dominant um, race in this country, you that. So, too much freedom? Yes. It's, it's, it's because once you, you get too much freedom, you see how ignorant people can be. Yeah. You see how ignorant people can be. I think the thing of too much freedom as America, I think the fact is everybody should be on the same level playing field and then don't have as much freedom as they have. Right. But you can't give too much freedom to one and the yeah. rest of both stay in line. Right. That's when I'm like, mm, yeah, we have too much freedom. But, you know, when you gave it to one and not all, you opened that door spot. Yeah. You know, because you had to know. Either, either way, it's never going to be enough. No, and it's, once, not, it's and never enough. Once you open the door to give leeway for this much, it's like, okay, okay. okay. So now we want this, now we want right. that. Especially when it came to, what, uh, January 6th? You know what I'm saying? When they, right. when they swung the you, you think every other race ain't pissed off about that? Yeah. And and, and another thing about that. You think every other race, it, it, using January 6th as an example, I'd say any, any example, but just let's say it's January 6th. You think every other race is saying, if they did it, well, you let them do it. Yeah. So when you come in with your guns and stuff with us and attacking us but for doing the same, that's, that's like telling a child, well, this child can do it, but you can't cry. Right. Well, just because. It's because you like that child more than you like me. No, we like to love, love all of you the same. No, I don't think so. No, yeah, but you don't treat us the same. You don't treat us the same. So, I get and I guarantee you that January 6th is going to come and bite this country in the ass within the next 10 years. Within the next 10 years, this country is going to remember what you should have did and what you did. I hope you'll be around to see it. Oh, I'll be around to see it, because I'll probably be the one to spur this shit on. I don't know, man. You're on the cusp. In the next 10 years, you're this country's going to pay for its response for January 6th. You're on the cusp. On the cusp of what? <laughs> Every race. I might be, but I told you, race. I got to make it to 18 years old for my daughter. After that, baby girl, everything else. She's what? Five now? Seven. 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 Really? You see how fast she goes by? All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven. At eight, she's going to be looking me dead in my eyes. That's just how fast she goes. You're going to like five or six, though. I mean, it ain't, ain't going to be long. You know, if I wasn't on the camera <laughs> and video, I'd I take... Uh, never mind. And, 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 and have a young lady in here. <laughs> you better go up on my mind. You better go ahead on. <laughs> All right. So... Go ahead and end the show. Of course, we got to hit it with a um, mystery, you know, say conspiracy mm-hmm. type of thing. See if I can cue up some uh, mystery. Mystery music. Let's see what we got. Now, let's hit a little too, uh, let's see, mellow.
how big the community is. But, you know, we just appreciate everybody's support as of right now. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let's go through this. Mystery of a 300 year old mummified mermaid with human face and tail. I can see the rest of that. I don't know what I got to cut off. Let's go right through it. I don't know what to do the same thing. Anyway, a 300 year old mummy in the shape of a mermaid is currently being studied by a group of Japanese scientists who are reportedly baffled by its features. Okay. Mysterious 12-inch creatures allegedly caught in the Pacific Ocean off the Japanese islands. What is that? Uh, Man. Shikoku? Shikoku between we'll 1736 and 1741. But now it rests at the temple. Whatever city there is. Right. It's Kashi. It's Kashi City. Anyway, I wish I could draw that picture up. Let's see if I got a better picture. They ain't got a better picture. See, all of this stuff wasn't even up there at first. I can edit all this shit. Show the images. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Images. We gotta watch the video. Oh yeah, it's, it's one of the videos that don't be don't be saying that. The scientists and researchers from Kurashiki University of Science and Arts have begun conducting the analysis and study of mummified remains of mermaids like icons. For the past 20 years, the artifact was in public display and into temple in the city of Asakuchi. Recently, it was stored in a fireproof safe box and kept in the Thank you. 
Man. Uh, man? man, oh, okay, okay. 
What man wrote that? I don't know. Okay. So I mean, so 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 my my I see I see where you're going. It's like okay, whether it's a planet or it's not, somebody else determines whether it is or not. But it's like who would they care? Well, like, well, well, here's just just like they say, uh, you know, the world, the the, the earth is round, mm-hmm. but something says flat, you know. And I'm like, so who the hell determined it was round? Who said it was round in the first place? Yeah, you know. So my basic point of this is, they don't really fucking know they're guessing, just like we are. So who the hell knows if Pluto is a, a planet or not? So, so it, it comes down to somebody say, oh, it's a planet. Next year they elect yeah. somebody else. No, it ain't a planet. Right. And then right. they elect it's somebody kind of else. Oh, it's a planet again. Yeah. So everything I learned in school, oh, somebody yeah. came up and said, "Well, all that was wrong. Let's 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 start over." So that's my whole thing about yeah. it. Don't try to discover stuff. Just because somebody say, uh huh. Just like when they were talking about, oh, Columbus discovered things. I grew up my whole life. Believe when people already knew the truth. Yeah. But. And the education system that I was in, you know, they said, oh, well, you know. So my whole thing about it, I don't know. When people start saying the planet, have you ever been to Pluto? No. Then you don't know what the hell you're talking about. If you, if you ain't never got first-hand proof of what you're talking about, yep. then, then I don't want to hear. You know. <laughs> they don't even, even, has anybody traveled to Mars yet? Yeah. Who, who the hell traveled to Mars? I don't know. Somebody had. Somebody had? Somebody had. Well, they didn't come back? Somebody had. Well, a whole lot of people. I probably, I probably a whole lot of people that saw the light or, or whatever about him. So, I, 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 <laughs> so, so, I've thought about what if Earth is like a um, like a reality TV show for aliens? Okay, that could be a possibility, too. That could be a possibility. So, we could be plugged into the damn Matrix. We don't know. I don't know if you're uh, familiar with the cartoon uh, Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. Okay, so it was it was it was an episode to where I saw that episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, I that. and and I was like, mm-hmm. that may be true. Oh yeah. Like yeah. that. There's a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, especially, have you ever seen anybody without um, authority be able to travel to the North Pole? No, you can't. No. You can't even travel to the North Pole without authority. Yeah. You want to know why the theory is? Because that's what Shangri-La is. That's where the aliens live. Yeah, because it was always suspicious to me that mm-hmm. with everybody trying to conquer and control everything, you, you ain't seen nobody. All the nations have agreed that this one spot, mm-hmm. and with they can't even agree on space, but they can agree on that one spot, right? Or you, you got the Russians and the United States, pray. like yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, so why the fuck can we agree on? Cause that's what's saying a lot. Everybody keeps telling you North Pole is so crazy, so, uninhabitable, and all that. I see motherfuckers go there. So explain what Shangri La is. Shangri La is from, uh, basically heaven on earth. Okay. You know, it is it, it, it's this place where nobody dies. You know, it is it's a mythical place. So it's a place of eternity. Basically. Okay. Basically. Cause yeah. I, I I've, I've never heard nobody like say, well, uh, yeah break it down like that like I've I've, I've heard about I it. I think somebody said in um in um Black Panther when he said uh, all the time we were searching for uh the city of gold or Shangri La and all that yeah. all the time it's been in Africa when they that's what they were saying where Wakanda was wow but what yeah. it is it's North Pole that's mm-hmm. why they don't, nobody can you can't ask any fly pilot. Can can you fly over the North Pole? Hell no, you cannot. You okay, gotta so fly what, all the way around the North Pole to get anywhere you want. Okay, so what what is your thoughts about the Bermuda Triangle? Bermuda Triangle, I do think there's a Bermuda Triangle. I think they make uh, uh that that's where the aliens make weapons for study, and every now and then they'll smack somebody ass up. So it, is it is it like a portal though? No, I don't think it's a portal. I think it's just the technology there. It's so. You, you, have you ever seen one Woman? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen Godzilla? Yeah. Have you ever seen when they they flew into that island that they can only see every now and every now and then? Yeah. And all that, that that's what the Bermuda Triangle is. And every now and then, like somebody go, they want to experiment or they want to test a weapon or something. I'll try to look it up later on, but it was it was something that I saw to where like 
the earth that we're on now, or like the surface of the earth that we're on now, mm -hmm. there's another world underneath. That's single up. That's North Pole. It's like every, everybody says the North Pole is oh so uninhabitable, but once you enter, and you oh okay, so that's what it is. That's what it is. It, it's a it's an entry. It's, it's an earth room. underneath. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. And, and it's in Earth, basically. Yeah. 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 And they feel like the Earth's core is actually in the sun. Okay. Wow. So, okay. so, so when you say stuff like mummies, mermaids, not yeah, yeah, because I, I forget who the who the philosopher or the uh, theorist, whatever you say. Hey, listen, no matter what, I'm sorry, you, find it real quick. What, what what your conspiracy theory is. The truth is a whole lot worse than what you could have ever imagined. Yeah. You know. So if anybody, especially the government, tells you to look left, you better be looking right. Right. You know. Yeah, because I mean, I never knew what all this stuff was actually called, but um, I've heard of there being another, what's it, world, but like it's in our. Yeah, in Earth, huh. in Earth. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's what happens when you go to the North Pole. And they actually like have their own ocean have and, 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 and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and um, and, and not only that. Oh, uh, there you go. Like, like, have you have you noticed people been saying, you know, the pyramids and stuff? Asgard. Asgard. That, that, that's that's okay. like the the um. Let me. Have you ever you seen Thor? Yeah. 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 Let, let me. Let me share the screen to you. If everything from, from, from the gods and all that, you think that stuff wasn't real? All that stuff is real. Okay, so that's what it is right here. Yeah. Yeah. You know? You see it? Mm -hmm. and so that's the... The earth, and then that's going to be an earth right Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what Shangri-La is. That's what the North Pole is. That's why can't nobody access it unless you have express consent and all that. You can't go to the North Pole. Go go to North Pole. Try to book a ticket there and see what happens. Well, would you even go to book a ticket? Huh? That's exactly right. Booking dot com. First, booking dot com. Yeah. You even asked about going to North Pole. Somebody gonna go, I'm gonna gonna go Will Smith on me. I'm gonna ask somebody. Go ahead. But who should I ask? Huh? You bet not ask nobody. <laughs> who should I ask? Well. Well, I mean, I, I don't know what happened to Anthony, man. I need mean, to ask about the North Pole. I told him not to. We're gone. <laughs> but who, who in the guy that God just came and took? You didn't die. die. Who the? Y'all Christians? What? Who, who was it? But where would I be, though? Huh? If they took me, then where exactly would I be? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, disappear. <laughs> Trying to find a picture, like a, a, a better picture of what like in the earth would look like. That's that's right there. You see that? What's right. that? Here. See, I'll go over one more. Right. See that? What does that look like? When they said Tilo's in earth, what does that look like? It looks like the same dome that guarded Wakanda, right? I mean, unless you see me talking. I mean, don't 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 get me on uh, conspiracy theory because no, I mean, it ain't I mean, conspiracy. It's just we won't acknowledge it. I'm I'm open to all types of discussions. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't say what's what's true or what's false because I don't I don't actually know. Mm -hmm. But I'm open to hear, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening to y'all right now. Hey, hey, listen, because I'm interested. <laughs> now that ain't willing to hear. Now that's a, <laughs> that, that, let me put that music back on. <laughs> but yeah, on. That, that's the thing. It's kind of like uh, when people say stuff like mermaid yeah. and, and the comic books with the gods and all that. I'm like, you know, they throw that stuff out to you all exaggerated to throw you all yeah, that but, this but, is but, reality. But, okay. You know, it's reality. It's just like the reality. They're gonna over, you know, they over dramatize stuff. Yeah. Just to make that stuff ain't real, you know. Right, and they put it in the in the source of entertainment. Right. Okay. But like I said, supposedly we all crawled out of the water and all that. So why wouldn't there be a mermaid? Okay, so you ever seen this movie called Lady in the Water? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like one of my favorite movies. Uh, 
I'm like in my seven line. Yeah, yeah. And the way that those people, I don't really remember what they're called, but of course they came out of the water and they gave man all of this information in right. order to, Absolutely. you know, advance their, Absolutely. you know, and, and it's, it's just. Because man is, of, of all technology, man is about clever enough to come up with Velcro. Maybe. Um, maybe silly putty. You know, glue. And that's great, isn't it? But when you have people like, oh, I can come up with the internet. I, I can put all this information on a chip because I can do the nanos and all. Man ain't that smart. Have you seen people? Have you heard people? Yes, have you seen how people act? Yeah. Do you yeah. think people are actually uh, yeah, uh, uh, intelligent enough to come up with half the stuff that we have, especially in, during the industrial age? Yeah. You know how fast we're moving from the point where trains and cars were invented? Yeah. Now so we get a new invention damn near every year. Even during the pandemic, like technology like jumped so yeah. quick, Yeah. even within the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what my theory about that is? I mean, I don't know if we'll be able to do what we're doing now if it wasn't for the pandemic. That's right. But see that that's my whole here's my whole thing with theory about that. Yeah. You know how everybody's scared everybody's gonna blow the plane up with the nuclear uh, the, the um country's gonna get in a war and yeah. somebody's gonna I think we done did that about ten times. That's why we can't remember how the damn pyramids were built, how all this they like, God, this is a Ancient mystery. It ain't no ancient mystery. It's from the last time we blew our dumb asses up. And now <laughs> there was nobody left to show us how the fuck we did it. So now we're getting right back to the point where we can go out to outer space and build all this stuff. Then we're going to blow our dumb ass up. And it's going to take another fucking 10,000 years to get back right back to the point. I think we done blew this planet up about 10 times. Okay, so what about what about if, if the Bible stories are true? So Bible stories ain't true. Listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. So the Tower of Babel, mm-hmm. when they tried to build a uh, 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 tower, uh, of heaven, tower of heaven, right? And then, of course, you know, what I'm saying the languages and stuff were scrambled, right. right? But that has always been my thing. It's like, okay, so why would you do that if you want unity amongst your people? Why would you confuse them even more to separate them? Because in my so theory, it has to be more to that story, or or if that story is even true. No, I think the Bible stories are true, but mm-hmm. it's like comic books. They yeah. exaggerated, yeah. and they now they put it as a god, right? When it was, and my thing is like, okay, so we have a multitude of authors mm-hmm. or storytellers, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we give them this one character mm-hmm. to write about, mm-hmm. and that brings about. Story. Yeah, they gave him the same yeah, character. Right. Hey man, you tell it in your version. You yeah, tell it in your version. Right. You right. tell it in your version. You know, um, but 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 my theory about that is like, you know, especially with with the Bible. I'm like now, the Bible's supposed to have all the answers there. Who gave us the Bible? Seriously, mm-hmm. let, let let's just just say who gave us the Bible. How do you know? What they're saying is, because like I said, everything the government and any authority tells me, I look the other way. Who's to say we haven't been praying to the devil and all this Jesus, all that was the devil, and y'all been rejecting the devil all the time, who is really God. God. Yeah. Because I always say, if somebody gives me something and say, hey, this is the way it is, this is the authority, I'm always going to look at the opposite yeah. thing, because I, I, in, in 47 years, it ain't steered me wrong yet. It ain't still be wrong yet. Four seven. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know. All right. But, you know, but that that leading back to that mermaid yeah. thing, you know, when people are so quick to reject, oh, that ain't no mermaids and everything. Y'all are waiting on a scientist to tell y'all if oh, we gonna study it and we gonna tell you what it is. I'm open to any possibility. I mean, because any anything can be true, but I don't know what's the truth. That's exactly right. But I take in all the information 
And I was like, okay, it could be, but but I'm glad that I know that there 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 is a possibility, you know, or or I got this information, so I'm well, not. Well, just like the movie uh, Unbreakable. Yeah. I'm like, that's your story and right there. Again, it's by M Night. Right. Right. But M. Yeah, he has some flops. Yeah, he, he, you know. Yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't see him as a, as a. So, no, actually, the village. I. That, actually, the village is more. I hate this. So, listen, let me tell you, the village is more of what I think. And, and I'm just gonna be, you know, kind of political about it. Yeah. us as a people. Yeah, we're stuck in this. In this. I, I think. I, I think when you talk about separating and living your own way. The village was close to Wakanda than anything else. And nobody even know they were over there until one dumbass had to go and get the medicine. Because he, he went, he saw purple and kept going. I'm like, see? I don't it tough. You don't remember enough of that movie? No. That, that was a very good movie. You know, it was It was a very good movie. The purpose of that movie was now we're going to live in our own society because yeah. all of us, all of We've seen so much bad happen in the world. We're going to go like the Amish people. Huh? They just sound like the Amish people. Have you ever seen anything bad happen to the Amish people? Yeah. What? A lot. What? I really don't right I know you don't. Because you hate to call me out. Don't you hate people who say, like, yeah, before right. they don't start it right. right, 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 right. <laughs> I'll bring up my information. But even even like the movies that happen, I didn't really care for the movie, but I like the premise of it. Because nature was fighting back against humanity. Nature's fighting the back right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but but that was the whole premise of the movie. Okay. I just didn't like the way that it was depicted. You know what I'm saying? But I understood the concept, yeah. and I really liked the concept. And they gave you a very scientific answer. They were yeah. Like, hey, the spores when the wind blows, the spores are gonna come and take up. And that's my thing. It's like you can't have this scientific breakdown to like this smallest point of it mm-hmm. without it having some type of truth in it. That's, or exactly about right. it. That's what I mean. When you say in Mer- uh, uh, when I think like vampires and all, they're like very specific yeah. with all of those. I'm like So you couldn't make those you could those small there, details up. There is no way you could make that up. Right. And the whole world accepts it. Right. And some of it makes you ever watch Supernatural? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, stuff is so, sure. that stuff is so specific. It's like that I'm like, oh, okay. Now, just like the movie Contagion, Contagion, Contagion was about COVID. COVID. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. And mm-hmm. so now that it happened, yeah, it was ten years later. Yeah. But they already knew about that. Of course, they already knew. That's why I'm saying the government cares nothing about you. That's why we. No, I ain't gonna say that on radio. But I'm just saying we're, when, we're when right people, when, 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 when. I know I say radio, but you know what I mean. But but my thing about that is, a lot of the stuff that people dismiss, yeah, you shouldn't be so quick to dismiss it just because it's out of the realm of what you've been taught. Right. You yeah. know, like let's just say the critical race theory. People don't want that in classrooms and all that. I'm like, but it's the truth. It's and people, then that's why you should know. People don't want you to know the truth. Yeah. They want you to know what they tell you. Mm-hmm. That's why they fight so hard to keep that out of the classroom. But uh, my whole thing about it is, the, the more you fight to keep somebody from, from, from learning something, it's been more authors and people reading about critical race theory now, just because y'all fought so hard. If you could have just said, all right, man, let them have critical race theory. Them children have been so hard. I mean, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want to hear nothing about it. <laughs> but now that they trying to keep it from them, yeah. oh, get, it, get it to me. I want to know it all. I was like, you, you messed up. When you told people they couldn't do it. Yeah. Just like that gay gay bill. Don't say gay bill. No, people don't. Gay gonna be the new N word. <laughs> Shit. Can't wait to say gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look so, at those. So with that those don't those thuggish gay <laughs> they ain't gonna say N word no more, they do nothing. Those Yeah, we're a little romantic in here. Yeah, turn the um, light on. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> we appreciate y'all. You know, for tuning in. 
Wait, episode. you didn't get, you didn't get that. Oh, oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, we'll get, we'll get to the. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because, because that'll be the bonus uh, mm-hmm. episode. Anyway, um, we appreciate everybody for watching, tuning in, liking, subscribing, commenting. Please continue to do that. You know, we're trying to build a channel. We're trying to build better content for y'all to watch, for y'all to view, for y'all to be involved in. Um, so drop your suggestions, um, your comments. You can either uh, put them in the comments or direct message us personally. And um, I always leave with like a lasting message. Um, let's see what I got to say. On the topic of believing everything that you hear, mm-hmm. ultimately, whatever the truth is, is. I don't know, like, like, I mean, whatever you feel like is the truth, like, like, you make your own truth. You truth is how much you're willing to go and research and do your own research to gather what you believe the truth is. I mean, because a lot of people take, well, the scientists said it or the authority said it. Yeah. You know, that's like saying, hey, my congressman said, yeah. don't look up, and the communist coming. Right. You right. know? That movie, don't look up. Right. But, but yeah. So, I mean, don't just take everybody's word for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you do your own research, you know, and you find out whatever the truth is for you, you know. And just continue to live your own life, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what is going on and what everybody say is going to come, you continue to live life for you, your family, you know what I'm saying, your loved ones, and uh, just enjoy. Life is definitely a precious thing. And it was definitely meant to be heaven, if heaven is a real place. But, get to take it. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. with that, mm-hmm. <laughs> we're, I want to say something. We're going to end this show. Stay tuned for the bonus episode. I'm Anthony Moore. Stephen Bowles. And this has been Garden Glass.